What's going on guys and welcome to my top picks for May of 2023. The weather is changing finally here in the UK. I look out the window and it is sunny. It is 15, 16, 17 degrees. The perfect weather for camping, for hiking, for festivals, for having fire pits in the garden, for barbecues, for walking, for cycling, for running. All of those great niches which contain some great products. So in this video I'm going to show you five great examples of products inside of those niches and to help you get started right away and capitalize on what's coming i'm going to give you all of the information you need to get started right away so this is going to include supplier links google trends information profit margins recommended selling prices product descriptions the entire product description for every single one of these products and also my recommended shopify store strategy and facebook ad strategy for every single one of these products if you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and with that being said, let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one is we have these planters that obviously, as you can see, are in the different design and style of different dog breeds. The reason why these are gonna be massive over the next few months is because number one, they capture a super passionate niche which people feel very strongly about which is of course the dog niche and number two they also capture the gardening niche with it coming into summer this is the time people are getting in their gardens sorting out those flower beds planting new flowers and what better way to complement somebody's garden than for them to have a planter that matches the breed of dog that they actually have as well so today i'm going to be working through a google document as you can see i've got links for all the different suppliers google trends information Information to help me um, kind of go through this video in the correct order. If you guys want to get a copy of this exact Google Doc so you have those same links and same informations and product descriptions, um, let's say if we can get this video to 50 likes, then what I'll do is I will pin a link so you can get it for free um, in the top comment. So 50 likes, don't forget to hit that like button. Okay, so let's take a look at the video. I'm not quite sure what the video can do other than give us some kind of scale of how big the product is and we can get an idea of how quality the product is um, what we can see from this from my own opinion is like they're actually quite big they're bigger than I thought they would be and they look like fairly decent quality as well look they look fairly sturdy um, it's not just a cre a cheap crappy product that people are just gonna throw away um, looking at this video it's gonna be the sort of product that does last all summer if not well into next year um, for many seasons what's really good as well is it comes in lots of different dog breeds um, definitely products perfect for Facebook because German Shepherd is an interest um, I think that's a beagle or the hush puppy dog I'm not quite sure what that breed is um, I'm really bad with dog breeds is that a poodle poodle is an interest um, basically there's lots of different husky is an interest so what you can do is you can be super specific with the people that you target and if you were to put a German Shepherd owner in front of a German Shepherd planter and this is a person that loves gardening there's no way that they're gonna say no to this product let's take a look at the Google Trends information then open this one up so this is UK 2004 to present I of course have a bias being based in the UK um, this is where I check all of of the data just make sure of course if you want to sell in your local country then you change to the UK and put in whatever wherever it is you want to sell the product but the beauty of drop shipping is you can sell it anywhere you don't have to be in the country that you're selling to so what we can see here 2004 to present as we go along it kind of peaks as the weather gets to its best and as we can see we're kind of at that height of demand making it a perfect 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 product to get started with today back to the Google Doc then so this is the product description we're not going to bore you and read through every single word you guys can obviously get your hands on this so what I'll do is I'll just quickly run through the paragraph so you can see the kind of um, feel and the kind of message or way I like to kind of write my product descriptions. So introducing our one-of-a-kind wooden planter in the shape of various popular dog breeds. These planters are perfect for dog lovers who want to bring a touch of canine charm to their gardens, patios, or indoor spaces. Crafted from high-quality natural wood, these painters are expertly shaped and painted to look like your favorite dog breeds. Whether you're a fan of the Loyal Labrador, the Regal German Shepherd, the Playful Beagle, or the cute chihuahua we've got you covered moving down there next we have profit margins so the cost of this product is 869 delivered as we just saw i would recommend a retail price of 40 pounds these aren't the sort of things where people are going to be buying a dozen of them or half a dozen of these things um, so 40 pounds i think is reasonable for what we just saw which would leave a very healthy profit margin of 31 pounds and 30 pence moving down next we have the facebook and store strategy so if i was building a business around this product the interest I would go for would be obviously dog breed specific so it'd be German Shepherd and they must be interested in 
gardening related interests that way you're kind of combining those two passions into one product which is perfect i'll go for a carousel ad if you're going to go out there and try and kind of capture everybody so you would obviously have an image for the german shepherd image for the labrador image for the chihuahua so on and so forth so somebody can scroll through and try and find the dog breed that they have and then when they see it they click it and they go ahead and buy it i would also split test an unboxing video with a setup it could even be a time lapse just to show how somebody would receive receive it and how easy it is to put together just so there's a bit more kind of involvement and follow along um, for the consumer. As for the Shopify store itself, one product store, you don't need to accompany this with any other product in my opinion because there's enough about this and there's enough variants for you to kind of fill out and bulk out just one Shopify store purely on this product. And as for the countries, I would go for UK, US and Australia. Moving on to product number two, not a cheap product. I try and stay away from those cheap kind of plasticky products that people just kind of throw away and dispose of whenever they want. Um, is this well what I'll do is let's open up the supplier link and we can watch the video and see exactly what it is um, this is like a weird video I'm not quite sure what that's to show maybe how strong it is and how much weight it can hold basically it's an outdoor camping shower it's portable it has a pump so when you're on the go you can fill it full of water and we'll get to it in a second and as you can see you can use the pump to create pressure so that at the end you have flowing water so it's brilliant for those kind of um, hardcore outdoor purists that love to go camping into the wilderness um, completely unaided and they can bring products along like this to shower or wash their clothes whatever it may be there's two different styles there's this cheaper style which is 12 liters for 30 pounds however there's this premium product or at least it looks premium to me with near a double the capacity so you're probably going to be targeting more kind of family adventures um, for 40 pounds and this does include free 15 day on time guarantee back to the dock then we've gone over the supply link let's take a look at the trends info so once this loads up again this is uk 2004 to present we can see camping shower there's clear spikes um, year on year and as we can see we're kind of halfway through one of those spikes making this a, again an ideal product um, to get involved in with now because you know the demand is only going to increase over time as for the product description then introducing our portable foldable camping shower the perfect solution for all of your outdoor showering needs whether you're camping hiking or simply enjoying the great outdoors a camping shower is the ultimate accessory to keep you clean and fresh as for profit margins the cost for the premium products i always tend to choose premium over cheap when it comes to the products that i like to sell so the cost is 40 pounds and 18 pence but recommending retail price would pretty much just to double that and see how you get on and adjust accordingly so that would leave a nice a very healthy profit margin of 39 and 81 my strategy for this product would be camping related interests obviously unless you're going on a really really long hike and you don't like getting sweaty you're probably not going to be worried about showering along the way it's definitely more for those people who are planning to stay the night um, so go for camping related interests such as magazines brands famous faces in that space that sort of thing you definitely need a UGC video ad for this somebody who knows what they're talking about with experience who can unbox it fill it and show exactly how good the product is and show what it's kind of real life world um, use cases are for it um, as for the actual store itself you definitely need to go branded on this you need to come across as a professional and expert in your field so people can feel comfortable and trust you um, in buying a product like this as i've put there which is for the purist united states and canada tend to be a bit more extreme um, certainly when it comes to outdoor type activities in comparison to the uk so my go-to um, target countries for this would be us and canada moving on to product number three you're probably thinking what the hell is that so um, let's open up this supplier link and take a look basically what this is then it is as it says there a portable washing machine so let's play this video so you can see it in use as you can see it folds flat which is brilliant um, anything that folds flat for convenience obviously when you go camping you're filling the car you're filling the boot full of tons and tons of gear so something that can fold flat to take up less space is definitely seen as a benefit in the consumer's eyes it's actually i've just noticed saying this items no longer available so what we'll do in a second is we'll try and find another supplier for it and i'll replace that link just in case you missed it though um there's the cleaning so she's filling it full of water she put a bit of soap in she's switching it on as you can see it spins around um, and cleans your clothes accordingly so let's just go into aliexpress in fact and put in portable washing machine and see what we can find 
So as you can see, there's lots and lots of different suppliers. I'm going to go down into, so we'll check the Google Trends information. We'll come back to suppliers in a second because I can't remember what the purchase price for that one was. So portable washing machine, UK 2004 to present. And as we can see, it's not the sort of technology or sort of thing that people were aware of until kind of recently, really, or at least it didn't get popular until sort of Feb 2020. But until then, we can see it's like a slow and gradual increase, which is um, a nice sign. If we move down into product description, so introducing our portable washing machine, the perfect solution for all of your outdoor laundry needs, whether you're camping, RVing, or traveling in your van, our portable washing machine is the ideal accessory to keep your clothes clean and fresh. Moving down into profit margins, then the cost of that original supplier was 1781. So let's try and find a product of a similar price. Looking here, then they all look a bit more expensive than that. So that's kind of like a similar product for 26 and 97. This is like a similar product, 26 pounds. This looks almost identical actually for 24.19. So if we go back to our profit margins and just kind of recalculate them, we'll bottom that up to say 25 with an RRP of 40, which would leave about 15 pounds of profit. I think though with the products like this, especially if you get a good quality one with decent reviews, you could probably bump up that recommended retail price of in and around sort of 50, maybe even 60 pounds and go as high as that. Moving on to the Facebook and store strategy then, um, obviously camping related interests, pretty similar to the the previous product to be honest the magazines brands famous faces again you have to have a UGC video ad you need somebody talking the consumer through how the product works and actually showing the before and after like typical kind of television ads when you see Purcell or Ariel there's kids out in the field playing football um, getting their white clothes really muddy they put their tab in they put the wash on they come out really clean you could definitely do something along the lines of that obviously but with somebody camping or swimming in a lake or doing some sort of camping activity Definitely go for a branded camping store for the purist as well. You need to come across as a professional. People need to know that they can trust you and when they're buying this product, it's gonna be a quality product that does what it says on the tin. I don't think the people who have a requirement for this product will be as extreme and hardcore as the previous one. So I'm gonna include the UK with my target market in this and stick to UK, US, Canada, and Australia. Moving on to product number four, then we have these LED bulb string lights at the top here. These are a winner every single year. Year. I've got people who are part of my private community that sell this product year on year successfully and make a lot of money doing so. Um, I'll show you these specific ones that I'm talking about. Um, so the G40 string lights, the G40 globe string lights, and the reason why these lights do so well so that's quite a nice video to show how resilient they are to break in the LED as well, which means they'll be cheap to run. And this is the sort of content which sells products like this so well. And um, that kind of visual before and after effect of what the lights can do, how they can make a space feel so much more luxurious and cozy and warm. And obviously with it being that time of year where the nights are getting warmer and they're getting longer, more and more people are spending time outdoors around a fire pit on their patio under a gazebo. And these are the perfect complement to any outdoor space. Let's take a look at the Google Trends info though and see what that has to say. So garden lights, as we can see, there's a common time of year again where it spikes in popularity and we've just hit that spike as we can see with the dotted lines, it's on breakout. So again, making it the perfect, perfect time and ideal product to get started with today. As for product description then, so introducing our outdoor waterproof LED string bulb lights, the perfect addition to any outdoor space. These lights are designed to create a warm and inviting ambience whether you're hosting a backyard party enjoying a quiet evening on your patio or decorating your garden for a special occasion so it kind of captures every single possible scenario so no matter who you are then these lights are what you are looking for moving down then next we have profit margins so middle of the road you can get a set which is 25 meters for 12 pounds and 78 which is a very reasonable price in my opinion the rrp is 40 pounds you can buy something similar in costco for like 60 so 40 40 is still a cheap price in my opinion. Even at that cheaper price, you leave a very healthy profit margin of 27 and 21 pence. As my Facebook and store strategy then, um, obviously outdoor and garden related interests, fire pits, wine, socials, all that sort of thing and use case scenarios for products like this. I would go for a carousel image ad. Um, that way you'll be able to get cheaper CPMs and reach more people for less money. Just go for those images which feature the product and show how inviting the products can make an outdoor space. Um, go for a branded outdoor lighting store. So again, it looks like you specialize in those types of products. Um, and my target country for this product would be the UK. Moving on to product number five then for the outdoor 
outdoor purist, somebody who is going on a trip or loves camping, loves being outdoors, eat what you kill mentality, this is the sort of thing that would get them excited. So basically it's a 142 piece all in one survival kit. It comes with endless, endless tools, gear and first aid kits, all that sort of thing. So when you are going on one of those extreme hikes or extreme camping trips, essentially you're gonna make sure that you've got everything that you need in one handy bag. Let's take a look at the quick video then and see what sort of content they're using to sell this product. I think this is just to show the kind of effectiveness of the different tools which are inside. The difficult thing about this product will be the content because there is so much to show. Um, it will be difficult, but we'll get more on that in a second. So supply link, we've done that. Let's take a look at the Google Trends info. So camping equipment, UK to past five years, we can see again, we're kind of like halfway through that spike in popularity, making it a great time to sell something like this. However, with it being more of kind of like for the purist or for the extremist, again, I would probably stick to the US, but again, we'll talk more on that in a second. Product description and introducing our ultimate outdoor survival pack, the perfect companion for all your camping, hiking and outdoor adventures. This comprehensive pack includes over 142 pieces of essential equipment and survival tools to help you navigate and overcome any challenge in the wilderness. So it paints this product in a real nice picture of no matter what you're doing outside, um, this is what you need. As for profit margins then, it's not a cheap product. The cost is 38.85. My recommended retail price started at 60 pounds. I think that's very, very very cheap for the amount of gear that you get. So definitely use that to draw customers in, establish some traction on Facebook and just keep bumping up that retail price until you find the sweet spot of say, your conversion rate versus profit. Um, even at 60 pounds, it leaves a profit margin of 21 and 14. As for my Facebook and Shopify store strategy then, um, go for camping, hiking, survival related interests. The content, definitely go for a UGC unpacking. Find an influencer on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, TikTok, wherever it may be somebody who has a loyal following, somebody who lives and breathes this sort of stuff, somebody who's gonna give you a good review and put together some nice content of them, receiving the pack, unpacking it, testing a few of the bits out, and maybe even going off for a hike somewhere and just showing how different tools inside the pack can come into use. As for the store itself, it has to be branded. Can't get away with selling this on a general store. Again, this is gonna be for the purist, the hardcoreist. Um, so they wanna feel at home and welcome. They wanna to relate to you as a brand. They wanna know that you do the same things that they're doing. So go for a branded niche slash even a one product camping type store. Um, there's enough information, enough tools, enough content that you can create all around this one single product to create just a one product store. And my recommended country for this would be the United States. And so with that being said, guys, that is my top five picks for May of 2023. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Any questions, anything I can help you with on anything at all, just leave a comment down below. I read every single one, so I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video on Friday. Cheers.